hi happy summer so you know let's talk about why dry shampoo is so great for thin hair I'm gonna go over probably the I'll save my favorite one for last but let's go over the first one um, here's my hair just blow-dried um, here's my dog hey bookie hey bookie okay uh, just blue dry it haven't done anything else yet so we're gonna try the uh, this brand Batiste volumizing dry shampoo see how it smells it smells okay okay I'm gonna do kind of the back part and then technically you like to let it dry for a minute so we'll do that and then okay you can already see a little bit of volume starting there I like this one because it does have kind of a perfumey smell, uh, but not too perfumey. Um, supposedly there's supposed to be keratin in here. I don't know, maybe uh, help limp hair look more full of life. So there's that one. Uh, then we have the Argan Oil of Morocco Dry Shampoo. Try this on another section. Oh, you have to shake it really good first. These are about how much I do. Now that one to me has kind of like a floral baby powder smell. Um, it's supposed to have silk proteins, argan oil, argan oil of Morocco, and it says it transforms hair with a light and luxurious texture. I can't feel a difference between the two, but there's that one. Okay, still good. Uh, then we have the Beach Babe, not your mother's dry shampoo. Try this one in the back. I do like this scent. This one's called Toasted Coconut. It's. I still think it smells like a floral baby powder, but it's okay. I don't. I like the scent um, of this one. And then I'll go over each of them. And then um, let's try this one. This is the uh, dry shampoo coconut miracle oil they're supposed to be coconut oil essence of tiare and vanilla bean extract so we're going to try that next now i'm not using these dry shampoos obviously as a dry shampoo i'm using them to give my hair more let me see how this smells fullness and volume how did that smell now they're all smelling the same but let me um, this kind of, this smells like, um, that bronzer from Physician's Formula, that, um, tropical line, that smells like that. Okay, as far as fragrance, which one do I like the best? Uh, I like this one the best, um, and then this one comes in second, um, and then this one's next. The one I like the least as far as scent is this one. It's just too perfumey. Okay, now it's had a good time to dry. So then I just kind of work it in a little bit, trying to give oomph before I style my hair. And what I notice about it now, it's not as, because you know, when you shampoo and you condition and you blow dry your hair, there's just no texture to it. It just, if you have thin hair or fine hair like me, it just kind of lays there flat. This makes it feel like there's a little bit of texture. And actually, now that I have this, I could just leave the house like this. I, I don't look too scary, but we're going to go ahead. I use this really tiny straightener and I'm just going to put a couple bends in the hair just and then pull it straight. Yes, with that little product in it. I don't leave it in forever. I feel like um, you can do the dry shampoo before or after styling your hair in my, in my opinion. Maybe not everyone feels that way, but... And then what I do for bangs, I just do a bend and then pull straight down because I'm not trying to have a rolled bang. Um, if you're still doing a rolled bang, maybe just consider do a bend and then pull straight. It's just um, less of an 80s look if you do that. Bend, pull straight. Oop, that one got too much. So you can always just go back and straighten it out. And then for me, because I have hair that sometimes likes to stick out, if I straighten it towards my face, it won't stick straight out like that puppy ear tail that I get. Bend, pull straight. And I'm just pulling it forward. Bend, pull straight. 
Same with this side. Bend, pull straight. I also wanted to say thank you to my friends. Thank you, thank you, because I finally reached a thousand subscribers. That was a goal of mine, really just to see what would happen. I thought there would be a big fanfare from YouTube, like, I don't know, like all of a sudden my screen would be all confetti. Yeah, no, it kind of <laughs> didn't look any different, really. Um, in my email, I got an email like, oh, in all these bananas on the screen. It said, you've reached a thousand. So just in case you're interested in what happens when you get a thousand, that's what happens. But um, my next experiment is to see, like, um, supposedly you get paid from YouTube when you hit a thousand. Um, I'll share with you what that means and what that looks like in case you're considering starting a channel. Sometimes you could flare that out. I'm not going to. Again, I'm going to do a bend and straight because that way it'll bend toward my face. And again, I'm not doing a lot today, so I'm not going to go crazy. The back of my hair, I just kind of do a, almost, I bend it, but I roll it a little bit more because I do like more volume back there, kind of at the end part of the crown. I just think it makes your silhouette look a little bit more, um, even, I guess. Okay, so there's that. I think that's enough. Okay, so now that all that dry shampoo is in, I, I can let this cool for a second. And then uh, I go in and I mess it up again. And then I try to kind of, then I try to smooth it out. So, um, compared to what we just did at the beginning, um, this is a lot more volume than if I had not used uh, dry shampoo. And so that's why dry shampoo is my friend. Um, as far as um, I have really dry thin hair to begin with, so I don't ever deal with like oily hair or heavy hair. But, you know, again, I, it's, it would be great for absorbing oils or, or whatnot. Or if you use a really heavy, thick conditioner, I think it would maybe help give you more texture or dry that out a little bit. Um, so depending on what I'm doing that day, sometimes I'll put hairspray in, sometimes I won't. Um, I don't think I really need hairspray. Um, maybe I'll put a little bit, I was gonna do the spray, but you know what, I think I'll put a little bit of the finishing paste in just to make it a little tiny bit more PC. And the nice thing, if you overdo it with the paste and it gets too flat, because you have the, you could really spray more dry shampoo in if you wanted to. Um, but no, I just kind of separate it like that. And that's it. That doesn't take long at all. Boom. So um, that's kind of what I do with the dry shampoos. And um, these are all available at regular drugstores, as you probably know, like Walgreens, CVS, stuff like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think the, the scents, as far as the scents, I do like, um, yeah, I like these two. Okay. Hope you're having a good summer. I'll see you guys on the next one.